Hi, this is Adriana from Foam Blast, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about picking a battery as fast as I can. LiPo batteries are the preferred battery for our hobby, so that's going to be the focus for this video. First off is cell count. This is what determines your voltage output. 2S means it has 2 cells, and 3S means it has 3 cells. With a LiPo, you get 3.7 volts per cell. So look at your battery's cell count and make sure you get the right amount of cells for the voltage rating on your motor spec sheet. For example, Fang Motors take a 3S battery and Michel 2.0's take a 2S battery. Running your motors at the wrong voltage may hurt your performance. If it's too low, you might not get enough speed, and if it's too high, you can have excessive dart wear and maybe not enough grip. So try to match the voltages as closely as possible. Next up is rate of discharge. This is the most important spec. It's the number of amps a 1 amp hour or 1000 milliamp hour battery can discharge. What this means is you need to do a little bit of math to figure out how many amps your battery can handle discharging. Math time! We're going to link a calculator in the description if you don't like math. So you're going to look at the burst or peak discharge. Multiply that by the number of amp hours and that gets the number of amps you can discharge. You want to make sure that number is higher than your motor's combined stall current and safety margin that we talked about in the motor video. It's never a bad thing to go too high with rate of discharge, but if you're too low, at best, you can shorten the battery lifespan, and at worst, it's dangerous. Amp hours is next. This number measures the capacity of your battery. It's typically denoted in milliamp hours, so just move the decimal point three places to the left to find amp hours. Most people will get roughly one shot for every one or two milliamp hour your battery has, so you should go with the biggest capacity you can find that also fits in your blaster. Now we're on to plug type. You need to make sure you have the same type of plug on your blaster to be able to connect the battery. You can change the connector, but you have to be safe. Only cut, solder, and heat shrink one side at a time, so you can't possibly short and hurt yourself. Shorting is very dangerous and the number one cause for explosions. EXPLOSIONS?! EXPLOSIONS? Last we have size. And people ask on the internet all the time what size battery fits in their blaster. But I have a really easy system so you'll always know. Step one, open your blaster. Step two, Measure where you want to put your battery. Step three, look at the battery size specs on the website and figure out if it'll fit. Make sure you add a couple of inches for wiring because they don't include that in the specs. Step four, drop it. So to sum it all up, cell count, rate of discharge, amp hours, plug type, and size. Craps, what nobody gives when you won't measure your blasting. We got links to Hobby King Battery Finder and Amperage Calculator in the description. And if you're tired of answering the same question over and over again, let us know what video to make next. This butthead is making so much noise. She won't come. She doesn't love anyone.